Okay, so let's try to do open Firefox, search Google for Claude computer use, find a video about computer use and coding and stop. So that is gonna be four things it needs to do, right? In like a sequential order. So it's gonna screenshot. Uh, hopefully it's gonna find Firefox, I think. Yeah, it's hovering over Firefox. Okay, it's open up Firefox, good. Probably search in the search bar for google.com, I guess. Or use this search bar here. Okay, so it's using the search bar down there. It's searching for computer use. Okay, that was pretty cool. So now I wanna see if it finds computer use for coding. Because that's the video I wanna watch. Okay, great. And uh, now it should stop, right? Is it gonna stop? Yeah, good. That was pretty cool. And now we can toggle on screen. We can scroll down, right? Can we play it? Is there any sound? I don't think so. So yeah, this was the post I released today, introducing computer use, new Claude 3.5 sonnets. That's pretty exciting, right? And I am very excited for Claude 3.5 Haiku. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have access yet, I think. Uh, you can see I only have Claude 3.5 sonnet latest. So let me try to refresh this to see if I got it now. Uh, no, I don't have 3.5 Hypercu, so I'm gonna go come back to that. Uh, I'm really excited for that. So yeah, like I said, they are introducing an upgraded 3.5 and a new model that is not available yet. I Hopefully it's gonna be soon, uh, because I really like that model Hypercu. It's quick, very good, and very cheap, right? So that's pretty cool combo combination. Uh, but today we are actually looking at computer use, and I think uh, the computer usage actually has to run the new version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Uh, that is kind of what I read too. So it's industry leading software engineering skills. So that is kind of the what it's taking advantage of, right? I, I guess it's been trained on some kind of uh, these are types of uh, tasks, right? Uh, I haven't looked into it yet. I haven't had time. I just wanted to try this out. Uh, yeah. Okay, so teaching Claude to navigate computers. They have something about it here, right? Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna look into that later uh, But if you want to Try the computer use that we are looking at today. They have a github So th they also have this long blog post here. You can read. It's pretty cool. They're running this in like a VM with an own Yeah, I think it's like a Linux uh, Or maybe like Ubuntu or something. So that's pretty cool uh, But you have to go to this github repo here if you want to try it out and they made it pretty easy, so we're just gonna run a docker container. I just have docker desktop here uh, So I just fired up that and what you need to do uh, set your API key So I set my API key don't mind this. It's just a I'm gonna revoke this and Then we can run if after you set your API key in like the terminal uh, We can just run this uh, docker run here and that's all you have to do so you have to do like a download, it's not maybe like a couple of gigabytes or something, one gigabyte. And after that we can just run this and we get this on our local host. So this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so you can see it's ready, so now we can just open up our local host, right? And boom, we got it. So you can see uh, we have this virtual workspace here, I would call it. And we also have uh, connected our Cloud 3.5 with our API key, and we can do custom system messages, I think. Uh, but that is something I'm gonna look a bit more into later. Uh, not today, I think. And you can see you can run this from Bedrock and Vertex too. Uh, but yeah, uh, I wanna try it out some more. Uh, you can also toggle screen on and off. So an uh, issue I have, if I go to Google, I have the issue that we get this, I don't know if my screen size, I don't know. But if I go to Google, I get this this thing, and I couldn't work around it. Uh, but let's try something else now. So let's uh, let's try to open up. What is this? Let's try to write something. See how that works. So let's try write a Python code to sort a list. Use bubble sort. So hopefully this. I think this is gonna screenshot this, and maybe find a cursor. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. It created a new file. Temporary, okay. Write it to the text editor. 
Okay, so it took a screenshot. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Uh, that was pretty cool. Okay, so now it's gonna save it. It's pretty quick though. That was pretty cool. What is it? Bubble sort of pie. Okay, cool. Then we can try to open it in the terminal, right? And see if uh, it's gonna run it. Would you like to run the or test the code? Uh, yes, I would like that. Yes, open it in the terminal and run it. So let's see if it's gonna open up the terminal now. Is it running it? Okay, so it's opening up the terminal. Does it know where it's located though? Yeah. Did it run? I think so, but I don't... We have a print. Let's see now. I hope you can see it. It's pretty cool, right? Let's try running it through bash tool to see the output more clearly. Okay. Here is the result, so we get it down here, but I want to run it up there. File already exists. Okay. It did create a file for me. Okay, so I'm going to try one more time to actually do it in the terminal uh, window we have here. It opened up a new terminal window. Okay, that was good. Now it ran. That was pretty cool. Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is nice, right? Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying to implement... Hopefully we can do something with this. Uh, let's try to close the two terminals and open up the spreadsheet program. Let's try that. Okay, so we closed the first one. That was pretty quick. Is it gonna save? Okay, now it's gonna open up the spreadsheet. <laughs> Probably gonna click on OK, I think. Yes. Now I don't know what what is gonna do here. <laughs> I haven't done. Uh, I kind of want to do something. I want to get some data and fill it in here. So I'm gonna do. Uh, okay, so we have that now. Uh, that's pretty cool. So let's go fetch some data for from something. Okay, I got a plan here. So let's do go to hackernews.com, get the five top titles and votes, and insert them into the spreadsheet in the column title votes. So let's see if we can do this operation. So yeah, that is kind of an agentic operation if you ask me. So now we kind of need to go to Firefox, type in the URL, and get the data. And it's going to go back here, hopefully. So let's let this run and see if we can actually do this. Okay, so it wrote title and votes, but now it needs to start moving on to Firefox to get to the data, right? Okay, so I clicked on Firefox. Is it going to insert the URL? Okay, so we're going to Hacker News. Great. Now we need the top five posts. Uh, I guess I said votes, but let's see if it understands that I mean points. Okay, so Okay, so it's gonna type the first title Okay, that's pretty cool Computer use yes, this is working. Wow. Oh, I think this is cool, right? Oh, I'm quite impressed by this uh, I can't wait to have this on my Mac, right? Oh, it's gonna be exciting Look at this. I like watching it in real time. It's pretty cool. Oh, I kind of missed something there. 8,000. 
Now it's gonna save it as what? Hacker news maybe or something? Let's see. Hacker news top five. That <laughs> was almost good. I guess I messed up the last votes, I think. Okay, so it returned it in here too. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see now. Uh, so yeah, it got basically everything correct. Uh, other than that, it typed 83 two times. Other than that, perfect. Okay, so let's try, go to chess.com play and play some chess versus the computer. You are white. Uh, so hopefully now, uh, I don't think it needs to close this, but just open Firefox. Go to the URL we gave it. Uh, let me scroll down here. Do I have to? Okay, so it's trying to run Firefox. Let's see now. Okay, so now we are on Firefox. Now I want to go to this URL, right? It's interesting that they're using bash commands in kind of the background to kill different uh, browser stuff. So it doesn't always have to use the mouse, right? That's pretty interesting. Okay, so now it's trying to go to our URL. Great. Uh, privacy. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be exciting, right? So hopefully it's just going to click accept and play, hopefully. That screenshot was a bit too quick, I think. So it's probably had to do another one. Yeah, and now it sees, oh, we have to click accept. So I like that it's doing a second click, right? So let's see if it understands that it has to click play now, right? Okay, so we clicked on play and now it knows it should be white, right? So, so let's see if I understand that it has to move this. It did? Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's starting. <laughs> so let's see if it understands that it's its turn now. It's quite slow though. Okay, so now it's going to ask, would you like me to continue the game? Uh, yes, continue. Okay, so now they are starting to play. So, uh, I'm just going to speed this up so you don't have to sit through it all. So let's speed this up and see where this ends up. For some reason it just gave up. It started a new match. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. So let's see what happens now. Okay, so it's gonna start a new game. I don't know why. It did F4 opening again. But then it couldn't do anything else. So let's see if we can do anything else now. So you can see it is actually looking at what kind of move it should do. That's pretty interesting. But it's just... This move is very strange, right? I don't know. Seems very strange to me. Now we got we just lost the pawn, right? It doesn't look to understand this. It's trying to select the the uh, the rook here. <laughs> I think we're just gonna give up on this. Yeah, we're just gonna stop because it's always selecting the um, the rook. So let's just stop this. Okay, so I had to open up a new container because uh, it was using 4 gigabytes of memory. So I want to do one more thing. Uh, find an image of a bird on Google, save it, use some Python code to crop it to 500 by 500 and save it. Uh, I didn't come up with anything else. Uh, I'm going to check out what other people are using this for and we're going to try some other stuff. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so it's going to start by opening Firefox. That's great. And it's gonna search for like a bird or something, I guess. Beautiful bird. Okay, that's a good choice. It sees some images here. Uh, I wonder how it's gonna try to save this. Okay, so it opened up more images. Click, left click, okay. Right click and save image as probably. Yes. Is he gonna give it a name? 
colorful. Okay, so now we had some issues. JPEG. .jpeg. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's see. It tried to save it. Uh, now we're gonna install PLI using the bash command. So that was already installed. That was pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna create a Python script. File created. Crop image.py. Okay, cool. Yeah, there were some errors. No such file. Yeah, the file is wrong because it, I think. So it's gonna search for the file. So let's see if it finds it. You cannot find it. Okay, so it did find it here. Uh, and it tried to run the code. Perfect. The task has been completed successfully. Uh, so it did save it. Uh, let's ask, uh, find the image and open it. I want to see if this are 500 by 500. Okay, so it didn't find an image viewer, so it's gonna install one by using sudo apt, right? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. I like the agentic behavior here. It's not giving up even though it didn't work the first time. It's gonna try different... Um... So now it's gonna try to use Firefox, right? To display it. So it's not giving up on like the first resistance it's gonna meet. So it's gonna try different things. Uh, kind of remind me of uh, the code interpreter, right? That always tried and tried and tried until it, yeah, gave up, I guess. Hey, here we got it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. So you can see the image is a square, uh, but the image was so small, it didn't actually fill out. So yeah, well done. Uh, I think this is super cool. I'm looking forward to playing around more with it. So yeah, happy days, if you ask me. So yeah, that is gonna be it for today. Uh, definitely go try it out. That was super cool. Uh, I kinda like that. I'm kinda excited to explore more around it. Uh, at least if we get a better version that we can kind of set up on our, uh, maybe on our local computer one day. Uh, but yeah, go check it out. Uh, simple. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link uh, to the GitHub in the description if you wanna just go try it out right away. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we will be checking out um, Claude 3.5. Haiku and Sonnet maybe tomorrow or the day after we'll see that's pretty exciting too So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you found it cool and we speak soon